G'day mates. Tonight we're going to be cooking up a pork stew. So we've got some pork, uh, pork fillet. His boss wandered around in the back there. Pork fillet that we got off the, um, the butchery that's on the farm. Cut all that up, cut the onions up and some vegetables and um, gonna mix it all together with some stock and make a nice stew. All right, so we've got the potatoes and carrots cut up here. Just gonna have a bit of a sip of this. Colonial Brewery Sour. Just browning the meat and the onions. So see at the moment how you can see it's not fully cooked. That's what you want for a stew, because we're gonna add some water and it's just gonna basically finish it off in the water. So that's what we're gonna do next. We've got the um, pop-up kettle boiling at the back there, just to add a bit of um, heat before we add the water into this mix. But we're just about ready to go. Got the water in there as you can see, just gonna add the vegetables. As you can see in here, there's, um, oh, I'll probably write on, close to right on the money for the water. So what I might do now is, um, got a couple of stock cubes, might just add one in, don't wanna to go too hard on this cause you're gonna get a fair bit of flavor out of the meat. And um, we'll mix it up in this bowl so we can make sure it's dissolved before we add it in, then we'll just leave it for a while. All right, got my stock cube in here. Just gonna break him up. Mate, calm the fuck down. Yeah, that's right. Relax. Anyway. Mate. Just don't. So this is why you do it in a separate bowl. You want to be able to break it all up so you're not trying to break it up in the stock of everything else. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. This is what you gotta do, just break it all up. Mix it all together. There's a couple of clumps in there, but we'll stir it out. Now we've done that, add it to the mix. As you can see, everything's covered now. So, just wanna get a bit of a stir through going. Lift the meat up onto the top. Broth. Yeah, so at this point, get me best friend the lid, chuck him on. Kind of hard to see, but you want a real low heat. Just gonna let it simmer, go next door, drink with the other campsite guys, come back later, it should be ready. Now yeah, I've just come back to check on the, uh, the broth. Have a look at that. Flavor town, flavor country. Give that a bit of a stir. Get the old mate lid back on there. Might try and get the um, temperature down a little bit more. The big thing when you cook in one of these stews is it's uh, best to just run it like your American style barbecue, barbecue low and slow. So just take your time. Now I'm just adding a few more residents to Flavortown. Oh, one of those didn't cut too well. This is, um, now that it's on the, you know, been boiling for a little bit, you can add the spring onions in rather than right at the start because they're just going to, you know, shrivel up a little bit. But this will add a little bit extra flavor. All right, we've been on for about an hour now. Just turned it all the way down, took the lid off, letting it just simmer out pretty much ready to go. We can, you know, might leave it for a little bit longer, but as you can see now, the, the water has kind of gone a different color. It's more of like a broth rather than just a clear liquid. That's what you want. Give it a bit more of a stir, let it sit for longer and um, just cook out a little bit more. And that's it. Flavor country. It's a you know, decent little easy meal to make, pork stew. So stay subscribed to the channel. Give us a like, make a comment, 
and um, we'll do some more of these in the future.